Have you ever wanted to hang a gallery wall in your home only to have it turn out as a Pinterest fail? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how we use H&H Color Lab to have a Pinterest win. Let's go. Hi, my name is Meredith Ringcars with Meredith Ringcars Photography. And if you are new to this channel and are interested in all things bridal tips and photography education, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that when new content comes out, you get it. Gallery walls can be a pain in the butt to hang. By the end of this video though, I'm gonna show how you can get a gallery wall like this in under 15 minutes. So one of our print labs, H&H Color Lab, offers something called a fine art frame in groupings. And these are beautiful, thick mats, high quality prints, non-glare glass, as well as handcrafted frames. And they are made in the USA. And what they come with is a frame template for those groupings. So depending on which grouping you purchased, this is the Crestwood behind me, they will send you the corresponding template for that, which makes what we're going to show you in just a minute so much easier. Step one, gather all of your supplies. You want to go ahead and get your template from H&H Color Lab, as well as a hammer and nails, pencil, your measuring tape, your level, as well as blue painter's tape. Now, for this whole process, you wanna use blue painter's tape rather than any other kind because it's gonna be the most forgiving on your walls. And if you are interested in the type of nails we use to hang our pictures, then make sure you head to the show notes below to get the exact kind that we're using on our walls. Step two, find a large space to work, whether that's a long table or a area on the floor that is not crowded and that you have enough space to move around in. Because not only are you gonna have a very large piece of paper, the template, but you're also gonna have all of your frames and your materials and tools that are gonna be hanging out there. And you don't wanna be tripping and accidentally breaking those frames that you've just purchased. Step number three, take all of your picture frames and match them up where you want them to be hung on the template. This is really important because a lot of these frame collections have similar frame sizes or exactly the same frame sizes. And if you don't plan this out ahead of time, you're going to end up seeing it take a lot longer than it should. In addition to that, even if frames are the same size, the backing of them may be slightly different with the wire hanger. Step number four, take your measuring tape and flip your frame over. You wanna go ahead and put the bottom of the measuring tape attached to the wire part of the hanger and then measure all the way up to the top of the frame, making sure that that's tight and not loose. This is gonna give you the accurate measurement you're gonna to need to place on your template in just a minute. Going back to step three, like I said earlier, you wanna make sure that you measure every single frame, even if they're all the same size, because there might be a slight difference in that length of that wire, and you wanna get the measurements right the first time so that you take less time hanging them. Step number five, now that you've taken the measurement between the wire and the top of the frame, go ahead and get your template and mark that measurement as well as write that measurement down just in case you aren't sure later on as you're hanging it, you have it written down as well as marked on the already done measuring tape. Step number six, take your measuring tape and measure the width of your wall. Find the center of it and mark it with a pencil. This is gonna be your guide for your template that has a red line right down the center of your grouping. Now get your painter's tape, get your lovely assistant, and take that template and line it up with that center mark that you just made on the wall. Tape it to the wall, and now go ahead and get your level and make sure that your template is not only centered on your wall, 
but that it's level so that all of your picture frames are going to be hung correctly all the way across. Step number seven, get your nails, get your hammer, and now you're going to go back to where those marks are on your template to put the nails in the wall. Here's the key thing though. If you don't put the nail fully in the wall, when you take that template off like we did, we ended up searching for where we were supposed to put the nails. So make sure you put it in all the way. And then if you are going to be moving at some point and you wanna keep that template, pull the nails back out of the wall, take the template back off the wall, and then put the nails back in. If you're not concerned about keeping that template for a long period of time, then go ahead, put the nails in all the way, and then rip that sucker off, take that paper off the wall, and just let the nails do their thing. Step number eight, go ahead and get your frames, your level, and your lovely assistant. Have them pass the frames to you as you're going through all of the sections and hanging them. Once they're hung, step back for just a minute because you may notice that one of those nails was just slightly lower than it should have been and this is a good time to go ahead and adjust that. Once you've adjusted it and either raised or lowered the height of one or two of the pictures, then take your level, put it on top of each frame and go through and make sure that the bubble is in the center and all your frames are level. And now you can step back and enjoy your beautiful gallery wall. If you are interested in getting beautiful gallery walls of your wedding day, just like this in your new home, then make sure you head to the show notes below and grab a quick 15 minute phone call with us so we can talk about how we can best serve you and get gallery art on your walls for your wedding. You may want more bridal tips and tricks just like this. So make sure that you head to that playlist above and in order to not miss out on any of our new content, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you see all of our new videos when they come out. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.